We have a wonderful guest to start with, and the nice part is we start with two items instead of just the, the one uh, dish. Hanna Jindrova is from Seattle, but actually born in the uh, in Prague, Czech Republic, yeah, that's the capital right. of, uh, of the Czech Republic. And she's going to do Mother Hanna's filled potato dumplings, which sounds wonderful, and unbeatable mashed potatoes. You're setting yourself up here. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a challenge in America, definitely. But, you know, I'll try to measure up. Well, you, you've met Kathy, so let's, yes, let's I get did. going. I don't so know which, can hear. which one you're going to be good. doing first. Excellent. So it's going to be the dumplings. Okay because the potatoes have to be boiling for the mashed potatoes. Now you've, you've pre-boiled those so that the skin yes. comes off very, very thin. Yes. Most of the vitamins that we were talking about at the beginning of the show right are right the there by the, the part of the skin or immediately under the skin. So by yeah. doing it this way, you're, you're really keeping a lot of those vitamins in, in your dish. Can you hand me that uh, potato? Sure, finish there you go. Um, that sounds so, great. So tell me about the origins of this of this recipe so this recipe was sort of invented by my mom uh -huh. because at the time uh, we were quite uh, poor and uh, usually people stuffed dumplings with uh, just bacon and the bacon was uh, just basically pure fat there and she didn't like that but she knew that we really liked potato dumplings and that uh, we would like also the sausages so then she tried to do this combination and it caught on and here we are. Very cool. 35 years later. So these are, these are boiled and they're cold when you, and you're grating yes. them now. Yes. Okay. I'm grating them on uh, fine. fine. On a fine grater. Yeah. Okay. And this is Americanized version because you guys have here different potatoes, different flour. How, how is the potatoes different? Uh, you know, they have a different consistency uh -huh. and they boil different. Mm. They have a different content of starch and so forth. So I had to so, sort of experiment with tweak the ratio. A bit. Recipe tweaking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then what kind of sausages are these? Uh, these are actually bratwurst. bratwurst. But, you can, oh, okay. but you can actually use anything, anything right. you like. You can use franks. Americans really okay. like franks. So whatever is your favorite, that's, that can do it. And Let's, you can also... I want to see what that's looking like under there. Yeah. Oh, like fun. This. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, please, if you can put, put it in, in there. there okay. Because that's my measure. That's how I okay. sort of do it. So we have three potatoes, and then we're going to add wondera flour, right? Yes. And the ratio is one to one, one by to volume. One. Okay. And I really press the potatoes hard. You'll see in a bit. Okay. Oh, that's going to be nice, isn't mm -hmm. it? That's really fun. Now, when you boil those potatoes, you're not boiling them down to the point where they would make maybe good mashed potatoes. They're, they're still no, a little they bit. Have to, yeah. They still have some they're fine. consistency. It's usually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for this size, I boil them from the time when they start boiling, usually for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that does, you know, just the right thing. They are not hard in the center, but they are also not falling apart. Right. Usually. And I use golden Yukon potatoes. Oh, you, oh, Yukon potatoes, those are mm -hmm. so great. You know, you know I, uh, we, we, we've had a number of calls when, when these people send in the recipes that that uh, the potatoes that are here in North America are different from the ones mm -hmm. that they, they mm -hmm. have in Europe. Uh, the ones in Europe have more of a buttery taste, right. a lot of people yes. said, right. than, than are the potatoes yeah. that we're yeah. used to. And also the potatoes here, you know, when I used potatoes that looked like ours, uh, those were the baking potatoes. The dumplings, the dough completely falls apart oh, because really? of the different properties, yeah. All right, so this aside. Let's so, make this together now. Okay. Here. Set this aside. Okay. We're going to so, add the flour now, right? Yeah, but first I look how much of this is. Okay. And usually I end up with two cups or so. Okay. A little bit. Yeah, that looks great. So then I pick it up. Okay. This and is the fun part, huh? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. All right. You will see. Sort of George, shape. you've got the flour over there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Quick mixing flour. Yeah, it's because of the coarseness, you know, because the regular flour is just too fine. And much coarser flour so it's for one this. Flour. Yeah. And then we're going to add an egg? Yes. How many? Just one just for one. this. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, that looks great. Oops, sorry. Okay. Okay. And, and then for your next recipe too, you've got the what is it? The mashed potato. Mashed potato. The ultimate mashed potato. Uh, <laughs> unbeatable. Unbeatable. Yeah, unbeatable. That's it. <laughs> and we've got those boiling in here too. I'm going to check on those. Okay. So now I make this little thing here for the the egg. Hopefully, those so are looking the good. Egg does not go anywhere. Make this little nest for it. Dig a hole out in that is enough for your uh, for the egg. A little salt, actually. A little Maybe salt. Some, oh, here we, here go. we go. Okay. Thank you. So it's kind of like making pasta. Oh, you know? Yes. It's kind of so similar, where you do yeah. the flour and the egg in the middle. And then it looks like the dough will never come together, but I hope it will. Okay. <laughs> so we're getting there. So you might do this a little slower at home, but because we're doing a couple recipes, we can yeah. go a little faster today. Yeah. Get in it. Now you're going to get in there. Fun, fun. There you go. There you go. That's cool. So you're just folding it to incorporate all the flour. Yeah. And it, as I said, looks initially very. Get a little feeling here. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> it, it, it comes out just like a dough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Initially, it does not look like it will ever get together. These things are magical, though. They look like they're never going to come together, and then poof. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not like the mashed potatoes. They come together right away. What else can you do with this dough? You could do... You can actually use uh, the dumplings without filling. Without filling. As a, as a, a side dish with roast pork. Ooh, nice. Or with oh, roast, nice. roast duck. It's really good with gravies uh -huh. on top and stuff. And you're, making, you're mixing this by hand. Um, you probably I don't have, want to use a mixer. I don't know. I have never tried. You probably could, but you know, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah I think that it you know, getting me. it in there, you could probably use like a like a bread hook. That, to do that it. yeah, that that sounds like it would work very well because this really is turning into a dough that yeah. you'd expect to see almost for a, but, like a pie crust. You know, when you do it by hand, you know, you add some love. Right. There's something. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we get a lot of people who call and say, "Oh, they touch the food. They they shouldn't touch the food." Well. I don't think you can cook. No, if you no, don't touch no. The food. If, you, if you can't touch the food, then you, you can't cook. You just have to keep obviously. your hands clean, of course. Okay, I want to feel this now. How's now that that, that was falling apart there. about 30 seconds ago, and now it is. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. nice. That's beautiful. So that, yeah, that's pretty much done. There. No, just give me a few shakes. Okay, please. A couple shakes more. Because otherwise, the dumpling. If you have these. Uh, cracks in it, uh -huh. it would uh, oh, fall apart okay. as it boils. So please bear with me. All right. But it's getting there. And could we put some spoonful of of salt in there? I'll it put a big pinch of salt in there. Cutting that into about, about thirds. Three. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And then you make the swivel. I'll tell you, that, that already looks good. It, it, it is a wonderful looking combination. You know, this is also do one with you. good. Sounds great. So this also uh, is good warmed up. You know, mm -hmm. it holds well. Being from Wisconsin, I've had a number of broadwurst, but never like this. I <laughs> say, ever, ever. Those just look wonderful. Oh, you're the professional. Look at you. <laughs> I passed. Okay. <laughs> Fabulous. And the dough has to be worked right away. Okay. Because Is it otherwise it thins. Wet, right? Otherwise it thins. Okay. So then can I so reach we'll... over there? Thank you. And then it's a good idea to. Now, if somebody move wanted these to go downtown and buy that utensil, what, what would That's they cool. ask for? I'll watch those. Oh my gosh, this is actually from Prague. And then you have that. 
Yes, Finish, so this right? is how it looks like. Please. Here we go. Here you go. This. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. So this is how the finished product looks like. How long like. do you boil them for about? Uh, 15, 20 minutes. Uh -huh. Depends how. Oh, nice. How. Can everybody see that? Yes. Sure. And then if you want to hand me please the plate. Demonstration plate, and it's the. Yes, oh, they look good. So, on. You know, those I would make wonderful hors d'oeuvres or something too, wouldn't they? A little, perhaps a little yeah. filling, but. Uh, this one gets topped with this, right? So then you top it with onion, mm -hmm. with bacon, maybe a little more golden so fried. Yeah. Like Turn this. You want to taste? Oh yeah. Taste one of those. Absolutely. I'm gonna, Head my eye on this one all the way through. A little cabbage, so. please. A little cabbage. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Do you mm. want to start on the next um, that one with George? We're we'll off to a great start, gang. We really how, are. How is it, George? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I get at least a uh, mitts? Mitts. I definitely could there sit in front of the TV Thank all you. afternoon eating these. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So now we can move on to the potato. So these potatoes have been boiling, and, okay. and you're just draining them out a little bit. Ouch. Yeah. Can you put the lower thing? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because I'm short for this. Shoot. This is not really. These are looking very good. Probably lay a colander yeah. over that. Pan well, and, uh, you uh, know, you have to keep these actually in it because. Uh, Otherwise, they are not hot enough for oh, what really? I'm planning to do next. Yeah, can you can you actually to hold that it? Water, up? Right? No, 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 not at all. Right opposite. You shoot. Get all out. I'm sorry. That's all right. No, I need the, the water all out. Okay, this is hot. But I need to keep the warmth, you know. So if you put it in in the colander. Then the potatoes cool down. All righty. All right. So I mash them a little bit. And you know, the trick, the trick is, when you make mashed potatoes, you want to mix them while they're still hot, hot, hot. Otherwise, what do you get? Bluey mashed potatoes. Yeah. And one of the main tricks are, maybe can we turn all mm -hmm. the so actually, I put egg in it while the thing is still really hot. So the egg basically gets cooked. So it gets cooked while it's mass in there, and it has a really good richness. Yeah, I so imagine also. Potatoes can take a lot of salt. Yeah, yes. I had salt and, and exactly. butter. I've never added an egg before. I've never even thought of that. So, that's, that's one of the wonderful can I parts get of the butter, butter please. The butter, Over sure. There. Thank you. All right. Here's your tasting spoon. Here's my tasting spoon. <laughs> Are they unbeatable? 
do a nice big poof on here. Yeah. A little more, please. Oh, 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 can I get that long absolutely. knife, please? Thank you. There you go. So. Kathy, there's a. Oh, little, yeah, little I do. Because those are wonderful. They truly are. Aren't those good? Oh, wow. Aren't those good? I love mashed potatoes. You know, for a consistency mm -hmm. and a taste. Uh, and then to add, uh, oh, that's my favorite. Some really chopped so, green onions. That's great. Here, here we that camera. That onions. is gorgeous. What a fun way to to put them on the plate, too, with a knife like that. Anna, thank you very, very much. Very that, nice. that was a heck of a lot of food in a very short time. <laughs>